Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at Quick Export in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, there's one thing every single one of us does as an editor, and that's export. Doesn't matter if we're creating music videos or social media or films or documentaries or whatever, everybody has to export. And if we can export quicker, then that's great. So what Adobe has done is they've created a little menu and they allow you to export the timeline and in out point or media. And they've given you a few choices. I wanna show you what the default setting is and that, that gives you a better idea of, wh of what it says because it's, it's not always clear. So let's have a look. So typically in this timeline here, if I'm going to export this out, and I will just go to the file menu, export media, or use the keyboard shortcuts, control M on Windows, command M on Mac. And this blue line means I'm selecting the timeline to export because you can export more than just the timeline. You can export from the project bin, which I'll show you in a second. So a lot of times, we'll get this kind of a dialog box. And by the way, this black edge is on that video too. If we go to other videos, this is not indicative of, of what this setting is. So the default most popular setting is H.264 match source high bit rate. Match source meaning, if we look down here, it matches the, the uh, sequence size, not the clip size. You gotta remember that the, this is always based on the sequence size. Some people get that confused and think that that this will automatically interpret what the clip is. The clip is being controlled by the sequence. If this was a 4K clip and it's in an HD sequence, it's an HD export. That's just the way Premiere Pro has done it forever. If you want 4K, make a 4K uh, timeline, but let's keep going. So down here's the frame rate again of our sequence, progressive square pixels. So that's not new but that'll give you an idea when we're about to export this timeline out and we go to this new button up here. And if you don't see this, update to the latest version. If you click on this quick export button, you'll get a tiny little menu that we can use to quickly export. So from the top to the bottom, quick export is this timeline, which is called Arizona. This is the location of where I'm exporting. If you wanna change it, click on it and pick a different location. This is the preset, and if you click on here, there are some choices. For instance, the default is match source, adaptive high bit rate. There's also medium and low bit rate. Here's your typical ones down here for 4K HD. This would be your typical YouTube HD, but this one can also be the YouTube or Vimeo export or 720 or 480. This just happens to be the easiest one. Now, Adobe will in the future uh, update this quick export to allow you to put your presets in there. Right now, you can't, those are the presets. But for most people, that match source adaptive high bit rate is fine. That's all you need. So just below that, you can see a quick summary is H.264 is the format 1920, 1080, 23976 frames per second. So if we mouse over this, you can see that this is variable bit rate, one pass target, 15.2 megabits per second. Again, if, 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 if you don't even look at that, which I don't, I mean, this video here, I just chose YouTube and export. Actually, for this video, I am going to choose this default and then I'll export it out to YouTube. Uh, stereo is the master output and then there's an estimated file size. So when I'll click export, it's going to do the same thing that you would normally uh, see if you're exporting not out of media encoder, but you're exporting out of Premiere Pro and that is exporting here. I'm getting my benefit of my NVIDIA card in my uh, Dell 7740. This, this is using GPU acceleration to create this H.264 and it's way faster with hardware. So give it a moment and uh, You'll see this dialog box. The quick export menu will disappear and I'll get a notification down at the bottom that I've successfully exported this out. 
There it is, video was exported. I'll just go to that folder now. There it is. So the whole sequence was exported out. Okay, now what happens if we have a selection in here? So let's just select this clip. By the way, I just hit the X key with when you, whenever you have the playhead over top of something and you hit the X key, you're marking that selection. So with this selected now, back to the same menu, it's going to increment the name if I wanted to change this to a different name. Woman walking, save, export. Now it's going to export what's in that particular in and out area. And you can see that's much faster. Again, let's go back to here. There it is, woman walking, boom, just like that. It also works over here on the left in the project bin. So if I wanted to, I could select this clip, click, and you can see it's, it's telling me now, not the sequence, that's the clip that I'm exporting out. And that's to the same folder. This just happens to be a very long clip name. I'm just gonna rename it bird. And again, all of our summary down here and the file size, it's a little bit of an interesting thing with my, my export button, a little bit too low, but I can still get to it. Give it a moment. There's the bird shot right there. What happens when we select three and export? So even with three selected, this is, just like the regular export from Adobe Premiere Pro, even though I have selected three, Premiere Pro can only export one at a time. If you want multiple output, that's where you have to send to Media Encoder, which you could do. So there you go, that's the new quick export out of Adobe Premiere Pro. It just saves a lot of time from having to open up that same export menu to choose the same setting that you're probably doing, which is, um, an H.264 HD or, or 4K quick export makes a lot of sense, just makes life easier. Because none of us look forward to exporting, it's just one of the jobs we do. We want to get our export out of the way so we can get back to doing what we love the most, which is creating amazing video content in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. We do appreciate it. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our store on videoreveal.com. Go to the shop there. You can donate once or monthly. You can buy our split screens, tickers. There's a bunch of free stuff to download and uh, we'll keep adding to that all the time. We appreciate everyone who's supporting us. The wonderful people. Many of you have been supporting us for quite a while. We do really appreciate that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to make sure that we can find out the stuff that will make us work faster and just get back to editing being creative.